Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Vancouver Canucks are now first in the Pacific Division. This is something that I don't think anybody would have expected coming into this season, considering the fact that it's October 24th and we've played like nine or ten games or whatever. We're first in the Pacific? Okay. Vancouver Canucks just beat the Vegas Golden Knights today. It was a 3-2 shootout game, and I honestly have a lot of opinions about this, but it's not really anything that I'm like, oh man, this is such a big piece of news that I gotta share. It's just, this game was more chill than the last one. The last game against the Washington Capitals, I was just so invested into that one, and that one was crazy, and I felt really enthralled by everything that went on. This game, though, it was more chill, but I will acknowledge that the Canucks did play a better game in this one. Of course, they weren't going up against a stacked Ovechkin-Kuznetsov-Backstrom power play, but they were going up against a team that worked really freaking hard, and I think everybody kind of knows that that's basically the reputation that the Golden Knights have built for themselves. But in this game, though, things mostly picked up in the second period and the end of the third, as well as, you know, the overtime, that's kind of inevitable, but this one ended as a 3-2 shootout win. And if we want to go over all the goals individually, the first goal of the game scored by the Vegas Golden Knights, Max Pacioretty, this one was just so unlucky. I was going to say bad, I was going to say it was a bad performance, a bad set of decision making, but this one was unlucky. Pouliot has the puck behind the Vancouver net, Howla comes in there, just like strips it away, and sends it out in the front, Pacioretty is there, Markstrom sprawled out, and it's in the net. That was a one nothing goal over there by the Golden Knights. It was ugly, but at the same time it was like, man, ah. Uh. For sure, that's a goal that could have been prevented, but there's no use in getting really pissed off about those. So, going into the middle frame of the second period, things were pretty interesting, considering the fact that Bo Horvat, just previously in the period, like three minutes after the Pacioretty goal, got himself a goal. It was a very nice goal. Leipzig goes over there, Puck finds its way over to Eriksson, Eriksson with a long shot from the point, and Bo Horvat is there in front of the net to tip it, fantastic play, hand-eye coordination, beats Flurry, and it's 1-1. But hold your horses, ladies and gentlemen, because just like a minute later, Bo Horvat comes streaking through the zone from Stetcher and Schaller, walks right in, and he just absolutely rips it. Rips it. He absolutely just tears it through the roof. It goes up there, top right corner, as he's streaking down the left side, over that glove side of Flurry, and it is 2-1. Bo Horvat is at 7 goals in 10 games played, which is amazing. Oh my goodness, he is on pace for 56 goals. Of course, that's not going to happen, but Bo has been a beast for us, and in this game, it really showed off to the truest extent. Of course, though, it was a 2-2 game at the end of the second because Ryan Reeves, he gets himself a really nice snipe of a goal. This one was a drop pass from Carrier, and the play was kind of weird because Brendan Leipzig had a really good opportunity at the Vegas end just right before it happened, but... The end of the game comes, I'm skipping over to third period, there's a few other things I wanted to talk about. Overtime comes, and this was very, very engaging. Back and forth action, we've seen it before, we know that this is what overtime is like, it was great. And overall, the Vancouver Canucks were in a position where I was like, just chanting at the TV, okay, yes, good, good play, retreat behind the net, yes, allow the guys to change. There are a few moments where I was like, looking, and I was like, oh no, he's been out there for three minutes! get off! And then, you know, things eventually did end up in a tie, so we had to go to a shootout. The shootout was great, though. Bo Horvat and Brendan Leipzig, Nikolai Goldolbin, these three were the three main shooters for the Canucks, and each of them had really good moves that they were trying to pull on Flurry, but Flurry stuck with it through every step of the way, and he saved all of them. But on the other hand, Jacob Markstrom saved all three of the initial Vegas shooters as well. But then... Marcus Grandlin comes in, he's the guy, he walks in, he's on the left hash marks, rips it through, Flurry is stacking the pads, he's flying poke checking the puck a little bit, 
he's kind of down on his side. And I was like, what the what? And that's when I was like, oh, it's a goal. Marcus Granlin just scored. Nice. All we have to do is get one more save out of Markstrom and things are good, which is what we got when William Carlson came in and tried to score. Markstrom got him with the pad, Carlson tried to shoot that in on the rebound again, but you know, that's against the rules, it wouldn't have counted anyways, but Markstrom saved that one too. Pacioretty also had a really good opportunity that I was like, oh my gosh, he can actually really score, but then he ripped it off the blocker, and then Markstrom with a few good glove saves towards the end of the game in the shootout and the overtime as well. Honestly, just a really good showcase of talent from Jacob Markstrom. He's building off of his hot streak because he was hot in the last game that he played as well. One goal against, against the Boston Bruins in a 2-1 Vancouver win, and in this one, 35 shots, 33 saves for Jacob Markstrom, and this is what we were expecting out of this player after we grabbed him in the Luongo deal. A player who can come in, shut things down, and just be consistent, because this is two games in a row now that we've had a good performance out of Markstrom. I know we kind of harp on him once in a while for having these really bad stretches, but when Markstrom is on those good stretches, he's on those good stretches, and he actually has really good performances, and this was one of them. I'm not going to fault him for the two goals that he did give up, because the first one, it was like, oh my god, the team just gave it up behind the net, and it's out in front. Ah, <sighs> sigh. The second one, it was just a good snipe, you know what happens. Bo Horvat did it to Flurry, and Flurry was pretty good in this game too, like both goalies had an excellent showcase of talent. But a few other things to talk about this game, and I really don't like talking about this, injuries strike up once again as Tanev, Edler, and Sven Berchi are all injured now. Really, the Canucks finished the game with four defensemen and 11 forwards. Edler had a weird run-in with Max Pacioretty. He kind of, like, fell on him, and it didn't really look all too bad, but then Edler left, and he's, like, confirmed on Twitter by the Canucks, oh, he's out with an injury, lower body. And then Sven Berchi gets hit in the head on a play, and he's like, oh, man, like, come on, ref, that was a hit to the head, and then he was out, too, he was injured. And then Chris Tanev, like, blocks a shot down low, he's limping, he's making his way to the bench really slowly, and then was like, oh, he's out too. Oh, what's happening here? Ah. <sighs> At least we have, like, Archibald and all that, right? At least Pedersen and Besser are most likely going to come back within the next few days, right? If not tomorrow. We kind of have to play somebody, right? Because our farm team is in Utica, we can't call up guys that quickly. That sucks. That really does suck. But... It's the way it is, ladies and gentlemen. I, ah, uh, feels really bad, you know? Where's Alex Biega when you need him? But overall, though, the Vancouver Canucks now 5-4-0 in this season of NHL hockey. They are first in the Pacific Division, which is crazy, mind you. They beat Vegas for the first time ever, I believe, because I'm pretty sure in the first season of Vegas... They swept the season series, so now the Vancouver Canucks finally have a win over Vegas. They're first in the Pacific. They got themselves a grand whopping 12 points. Had they not won in a shootout, they would have been tied for first with San Jose and Anaheim. Ten games into the season, though, and Bo Horvat is at seven goals. All's looking well for the Vancouver Canucks in regards to their offensive prowess in regards to one player. I mean, the rest of the guys had some pretty good opportunities, too. I thought Good Branson was honestly pretty solid in this game. Like, I know I was ripping on him last game, but a few games ago I was talking about how he was solid, and he was solid in this one, too. I thought Good Branson was pretty fair, and the breakouts and everything, I thought they were alright. I didn't have a problem with them. And Bo Horvat, obviously, he was really good in this game. Another player that I thought was honestly solid was Louis Erickson. All the little things that he was doing, little chip-ins to get the puck in, sending the puck over to teammates, wide clears and everything. There were a lot of moments in this game where I was like, damn, that was a solid play. Wow, great job, Louis Erickson. Like, I don't talk about Erickson a lot because there isn't necessarily anything to talk about when it comes to the big picture of things. But in this game, I thought he was solid. For sure, I would rather want to see, like, a Besser or a Pedersen or even a Leipzig or a Mott on that first line, but 
things were kind of shuffled around, players were injured, Erickson was on that top spot because, you know, Travis Green's gonna put him in that top spot, but playing for a top spot guy, I think he was alright. I'm not saying he's $6 million worth of money, but I'm just saying that for the player he is and the player that we've seen in the past, this was one of his better performances by far. But overall, they won. They beat Vegas. Sorry, Louie. Feels really bad, but I mean, it was an entertaining game, right? Hope you guys enjoyed this video here, plus in the Shrosh 9 Gaming, and bye. <laughs>